Boy, what a crowd, what a crowd. It's the month of May, and that means we are talking all things racing. And that must be a pain in the tuchus if you hate racing. You are probably sick of this 500 talk by now, and you, the non-racing fan, you don't get no respect, no respect at all. Why, when you go play in the sandbox, the cat keeps covering you up. No respect, I tell you. You are the type of person former WRTV reporter Phil Ponce was looking for 40 years ago. While a few hundred thousand folks were out at the track, Phil went to the mall. That's where, hey, Murphy's department store has Donkey Kong. Let's put on our cutoff shirts and go. No wonder they didn't want to go to the track. Anyway, Phil Ponce asked shoppers, hey, you're a Hoosier. Aren't you supposed to be into this race car thing right now? It's a race once and was in the snake pit. And that's enough for me. Why was it enough for you? Huh? That's a mess out there in the snake pit. Have you ever been in the snake pit? At the race. <laughs> Are you a race fan? No. Uh, do you think it's sort of unpatriotic to live here and not go to the Speedway? I don't live here. I hate racing. I hate race cars and I hate the kind of radness that goes on there. And then Phil ran into this guy. And before they ask, I must pause and let our newsroom 20-somethings, Doogie Walker and Wolfgang Amadeus Smith, know that this man is the late Rodney Dangerfield, comedian, legend, in town for a show at the old Hilton U. Brown Theater on the Butler campus. Sir, why aren't you at the race today? Oh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not looking to get busy, really. Thanks very much. See how boring comedians can be, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. You take care now. Huh? My goodness, the 500 gets no respect. Why, one time the race played hide and seek. No one came looking for it. No respect, I tell you. Working for you with Throwback Thursday, Ray Steele, WRTV.